Hey everyone, welcome to the album method. So for today's class, I have for you a dance inspired flow. We're going to be working on finding our line. So finding a pointed toe rather than a flexed foot to really find that extension through the leg. We're going to be working on finding that inner rhythm. So finding that connection in between each posture rather than just the posture itself. Today, you're just going to need your body and your mat. When you're ready, I'll meet you there. So for today's class, we're going to start in a tabletop position. So go ahead and come to all fours with the hands underneath the shoulders and the hips over the knees. And I want you to bring the tops of the feet down to the mat so that they're flat on the mat. And drawing energy up through the tops of the feet into the shins and knees, all the way into the low belly, shoulders, hands, and through the crown of the head. Just pause here. Get connected to all points of contact on the mat and pulling the low belly in and up to brace the belly. Take two breaths here. And just finding some softness within the body, within the breath. Good. Start by extending your left toes back. And for today, we're going to keep the toes pointed. But for now, start to take some ankle circles with that left foot. So really working on finding a nice line today in today's class and finding that grace and connection between each posture. If you haven't switched directions, switch directions. Just waking up that left ankle. And then point the toes straight back. As you lean into the left arm, reach that right arm forward as if you were reaching for someone. Finding this spinal balance shape, start to bend your right elbow as you bend your left knee, bringing the left knee towards the front of your space as you pull the right elbow back. Feel that left hip turn on and then coming back through to spinal balance, nice and controlled. Again, pull that elbow out as you pull the left knee in towards that right bicep or left bicep and then come back to center. Good. Two more times. Keeping the left toes pointing, keeping the body controlled. And one more time. Good. Coming back through to spinal balance. Find a little arch through the low back as you lift the arm and the leg higher and release to a tabletop position. Take a breath in. Resetting the body. Let it go. Start to point your right toes back. Good. So the toes just come right in line with the hip. Take a few ankle circles in one direction and then the other again. Just waking up that right foot. Pulling the belly in and up to brace the belly. And then as you're ready, start to take that left arm forward as you keep the toes pointing back. Set your stabilization here. And then start to pull that left elbow back as you bend the right knee, pulling the right knee in, keeping the toes pointed, and then control back to spinal balance. Good. Moving equal and opposite in both directions. Left elbow pulls back as that right knee pulls forward, coming back through to center. Working on keeping that right knee in line with the hip. Two more. One more. Good. Controlling the movement back to spinal balance. Now lift the right leg and the left arm higher. Lift the gaze. Find that arch. And release to a tabletop position. Pause. Take a breath. Beautiful. From here, walk the hands forward just a couple of inches. Start to tuck your toes under and come in to your downward facing dog. You can have the knees bent to start. Or if the legs are straight, either way, start by pedaling out the heels, bending one knee a lot and then the opposite, and just wake up the legs. Maintaining that breath, start to lift the heels, coming onto the balls of the feet, stretching through the arches, and then melt the heels as you melt the forehead. Do that two more times, lifting the heels, and then melting the heels, just let them soften, nothing forced. One more time, lift the heels, pause, stretching through the hips, through the upper body, melt the forehead, melt the chest, and let the heels relax. Good, good inhale, lift the heels, start to shift forward to a plank position, stacking shoulders over wrists, pause. Lifting through the back of the head and then just shift the hips up, keep the heels up as you come back to down dog. Good. Roll forward to that plank position once again. And rolling back, hips high to the sky. Good. Two more. Rolling forward, feeling the scapula move away from the midline. And then find that down dog. Good. One more. Coming into downward facing dog. As you do that, reach your right leg up to the sky. Inhale, bringing the toes in line with the hip. Point the toes. 
Shifting forward to a plank position with that right foot lifted. Pause. Come back up to three-legged down dog. The left heel stays up. Strong leg. Shifting forward to that plank position with the right foot elevated. Good. Two more times. Together. Reach the leg high as you melt the chest. And then shift forward, stacking shoulders over wrists. One more time. And now this time, step through to a lunge. Pause. Placing the foot between the hands, look forward, start to reach forward, reaching up with those hands. Finding Tadasana arms here, drop into that right lunge. Bringing your hands to heart, just hold. Beautiful. Pushing off that left foot, pull your left knee in to kiss that right knee, finding this passe shape. Good, so we're gonna let the left heel Almost touch the ground, and then we're going to sweep it up right out in front of you. Get that quad engaged. Now start to bend the knee. Start to send the leg behind you, keeping the toes pointed, extending the arms overhead in line with the shoulders. The whole body moves together, bringing the left knee in as the hands come to heart. And now releasing that left foot, start to straighten that leg out to the side. So I'm lifting from this outer hip, keeping the toes in the front of the foot pointing forward, feeling it through this entire left side and then softening as I come back to center. Let's do that again. Pull the knee in. Extend the toes out in front of you. Get that quad involved. Now start to bend the knees. The body moves together. Extend those toe ba toes back as the belly stays strong. Extend the arms. Hands come to heart. Keep your eyes on something still. Release the left foot a little bit and then lift it out to the side, working from the outer hip. Come back to center. Knee pulls in one more time together. Extend those toes. Pull the knee in, extend the arms as you extend the leg back. Pull the knee in as you come back to center. And then sweep that leg out to the side from the outer hip. This time, release right left foot to meet the right. Reach those arms up. And exhale, just bring hands to heart. Beautiful. Again, inhale, reach those arms up, stretch up out of the body, and exhale, fold over the legs. Hands come through heart center. Take a halfway lift here, find some length, and then plant your palms. Step back to your plank position. Here we are. Setting up your plank once again. This time coming all the way down to the belly, taking the arms out in front of you. So the palms face, we find Tadasana arms here, pressing through the tops of the feet like we did in tabletop. Now pull the belly in, start to just lift your legs. Using your hands for force, start to push your hands into the ground as you lift the heart, feeling the low back activate. Keep your butt strong and your toes reaching back. Start to reach the arms up, just in line with the shoulders. Keep your gaze out in front of you. And release the palms, the forehead, the entire body. Everything's going to move together. So inhale, start to lift the legs, start to lift the chest, start to lift the arms. Exhale, release everything. One more time, inhale, lift everything up. And exhale, release everything, just pause. Bringing the hands back underneath you, pressing yourself up through your tabletop position and resetting in your downward facing dog. Pause here just as needed, resetting the body. And then inhale, lift the heels, reach that left leg high. So the left foot comes in line with that left hip and then gaze forward as you start to shift forward, keeping the left leg lifted to that plank position. Three-legged down dog, the gaze goes down as the leg reaches up. Again, shift forward to that plank position, keeping the core nice and strong. Left leg reaches to the sky. Good, shift forward one last time. Leg reaches to the sky. Pause. Now start to use your core. Bend that knee. Step through. Landing light. Inhale. Come on up. Get your balance first. Pause. Good. Pushing off that back foot. Bring your right knee in. Adding on to that same side. Extend the toes. Coming back through center. Start to extend the arms as the toes reach back. Noticing which side is different. Coming back to center, right knee pulls in, release the foot and lift it out to the side, activating that outer hip again. Pull the knee in, extend out. Pull the knee in and extend back as the arms reach forward to counter your balance. Keep strong. Hands pull in as the knee pulls in, release the foot, lift it out to the side. Again, extend those toes. 
foot pulls in. Extend back. Pause. Knee pulls in. Release that foot, lifting through the outer hip. One more time together. Start to connect the movement. Start to find that fluidity and that rhythm within your own body, your own breath. Release the foot, lifting it out to the side. Last time, now the right foot meets the left. Inhale, reach those arms up. And exhale, we bow. Pause. Taking that halfway lift. And exhale, stepping back to your plank. Coming all the way down to your belly. Setting up our second set. The arms reach out as the legs lift, the chest lifts. Hold and release back to your downward facing dog. Moving with that fluidity all the way back to that neutral position. Pause. Good, from here, reach that right leg up. Shift forward to that plank position with the leg lifted. Good, reach the right leg up. And start to step through to a lunge, pause. Inhale, come on up. Pushing off that back foot, left knee pulls in. Good, extend the toes out. And pull the knee in, feel yourself getting stronger each time. Arms reach forward as the leg pulls back. Set your eyes, pull that left knee and release and lift out to the side. Good, pulling back in, pause. Now control, bend that right knee, step back to your lunge. Keeping the arms forward for balance and then reach those arms up as you straighten the right leg. Good, spinning that back foot flat, find a warrior two shape, lift your front heel and lunge deeper. Keeping that front heel lifted, reach up, find reverse warrior. And then the whole body moves together as you pick up that left heel, touch down to the mat, sweeping the right leg, finding that three-legged plank, and now coming halfway down for that chaturanga kapada with the foot lifted. Notice the difference. Coming through upward facing dog, our first one, and into downward facing dog. Take a breath, let it go. Good, just adding on as we go. Left leg reaches up, point the toes. Find that three-legged plank with the leg lifted. Beautiful, left leg reaches high. Bending that knee, step through to your lunge, pause. Coming on up to that high lunge and then we connect the movement, pushing off that back foot, right knee pulls in, keep the toes pointed. Extend that leg out and pull in. Extending the arms, extending that leg and pull in. Release the foot, lifting the outer leg, and pull in. Softening that left knee, controlling that right leg back, reaching the arms up, and then straightening that left leg as we move into warrior two, almost gliding into it. Pick up that front heel, lunge a little deeper, and then lifting out of that left hip, reverse warrior. The whole body moves together as you pick up that back heel. Sweep the left leg out behind you, keeping that plank shape. Come halfway down. Inhale, lifting up. Squeeze the glutes, opening the chest. Exhale, pull back. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Let it go. Good. Check in. Beautiful. Good, reaching that right leg up. Shift forward to that plank with the foot lifted. Good, now start to spin to the left side. Start to plant the ball of the right foot right to the outside of your mat and then rotating this left shoulder open as you lift the chest. Find a wild thing shape. Opening through that entire right side and then follow the gaze back to your three-legged lunge and then three-legged dog, right leg reaches up. Stepping through to your lunge, pause and come on up. Pushing off that back foot, pull the left knee in. Extending that quad. Pulling the knee in, find that airplane shape, pause. All the while controlling the movement, hands to heart. Sweep that leg out to the side, coming back to center. This time grab onto the knee, hold. Start to move that knee back as you reach for the inner edge of the foot. Again, rolling this left shoulder open. 
just like we did in Wild Thing. Take that right hand out to the side, start to kick foot into chest, coming into dancer's pose. Feel the back turn on, that right leg stays nice and strong. Keep your gaze still. And release, left foot to meet the right. That left arm reaches up. Find a gentle arch through the low back here, release. All the way down to your forward fold, so good. Taking that halfway lift and then step back. Good. From here, coming back all the way down to your belly. And pause. Good. Taking the arms out in front of you. Just neutralize and stabilize the spine here, pressing your forehead into the mat and the feet down. And then everything lifts together. Point the toes, reach the arms up, lift up one more inch, pause. And exhale, tuck those toes. Make your way back to your downward facing dog. Take a breath and let it go. Good, left leg reaches up. Find that three-legged plank. Good, start to spin on that right foot, planting the ball of the left foot, lifting the hips, finding that wild thing shape here. Opening through the heart. And then follow the gaze back down, extending that left leg up. Step through to lunge, use your core, land light. Inhale, coming on up. Find your balance and then push off that back foot, right knee pulls in. Good, extending that leg out. And bend the knee, flow through to that airplane variation. Arms reach out in front of you. Good, pulling the knee back in. Sweeping it out to the side. Good, coming back to center. And now we move into dancer's pose, grabbing the inside of the foot. Start to extend that left arm out as you kick foot into hand. Just breathe, set your eyes. And then gently release that right foot to meet the left. Sweep the arms up and let it all go. Dive over the legs. Taking that halfway lift, plant your palms, step back to your plank. Good, controlling all the way down and bringing the tops of the feet flat, arms out in front of you. Bring the forehead down first. And everything lifts together, arms, shoulders, legs, chest. Pause, lift up, hold. And release, hands to the mat. Reset, downward facing dog, just breathe. Let it settle. Good, and then gently release your knees, coming to a tabletop position and then sit your hips back towards your heels facing the front of your space. Take a breath in and just let the shoulders relax down the mat. Take a breath in and let the shoulders just relax down the back. Inhale, reach those arms up. And as you exhale, you're going to place that right hand out to the side, rising up onto that right shin. Left leg's going to point out to the side as you reach that left arm over. One long line of energy through those left toes, those left fingertips, and then everything moves together. The left knee comes in. Left hand reaches out as the right toes reach out. Reach up and over that right ear. Good. Let's move together. Knees together, right hand and extend the left leg. Keeping that midline nice and strong, over to the left. Good, two more. To the right, controlling the movement but still finding that flow, and to the left. So good, coming back to center. As you inhale, rising up onto the shins, reach up. As you exhale, those arms will sweep behind you. Palms come up as the forehead comes to the mat. Let the shoulders relax. Pause. Breathe into that back space. Good. Inhale. Start to rise up. Start to sweep those arms up. Squeeze the glutes. And exhale, sweeping those arms back. Bring your forehead to the mat. Arms behind you. Two more. Inhale. Lift up. Follow the gaze all the way up. Stretch. And exhale. Sweep it all the way down. One more. And exhale, come all the way down. Pause. Good, coming back up to your center. Stepping back over to that right. This time, step the left foot out, so we're pressing through the outer edge of that foot. And now lift that leg up and just tap the mat. Using that hand on the hip to keep the hip stable, keeping that left hip where it is. Good, final four. Keep tapping the floor and lifting, three. Two, 
and one, you're going to find little counterclockwise circles as if you were drawing a circle on the wall with your left big toe. A little tiny circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Flex the foot. Release. You're going to come all the way up. Take that left hand right below the knee. Reach that right arm up and over. So good. Coming back to center. Release that right hand. Pick up that left foot again. This time bend the knee. Just like we did in dancer's pose. Kick that foot into the hand. As the knee moves back, the chest moves forward. Keep your butt strong. Good, so good. Release that. Knees come together. Sit up tall as you inhale. And as you exhale, we switch sides. Place that left hand out. Plant your right foot. So we want to make sure that hip is over the left knee and the left ankle is in line with the left knee. Left hand right below that left shoulder. So make those little adjustments and then start to point your toes. Lift the foot. We're just tapping and lifting, controlling the movement up as much as we control the movement down. Moving nice and slow and controlled for four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to draw little clockwise circles across the wall. So drawing a circle with that right big toe, nothing else moves. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release that foot. Start to rise up, pressing through the outer edge. Bring that hand right below the knee and stretch up and over to that right side. Breathing into that left rib cage. And then coming back through to center, take that left hand down. Pick up that right foot again. Bend the knee, grab the foot. Rolling that right shoulder onto the back as you kick foot into hand. Find a nice little extension through the chest, through that right shoulder. And as you're ready, as you feel balanced, release that. Bringing the hips back to the heels and hands to heart. Just close your eyes, let that settle. Notice the differences. Notice the space. Good, coming back to downward facing dog. And just settle in. Breathe. Feel the hips moving side to side wiggling out the shoulders, and just reset. Good. Coming back to our flow, reach that right leg up. Shifting forward to that plank with the leg lifted. Good. Right leg reaches up. And come back to that three-legged plank. This time, create that wild thing, spinning to the left heel. Plant the ball, the right foot, open up for wild thing. Good. Coming back through to center, pull the knee in, extend it high. And step through to your lunge. Landing light. Inhale, coming on up. Exhale, push off that back foot. Connecting the movement. Extend the left leg. And then take that into that airplane shape. Good. Coming back to center. Control. Left toes reach out to the side, lifting the leg. Coming back to center, try to control it, creating dancers in one fluid movement. Good. This time, release the left knee into the chest and then bend that right knee, coming back to our lunge, putting it all together. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Exhale, open up. Pick up that right heel, warrior two with the heel lifted. Lunge deeper. Inhale, reach up, reach back. And exhale. Everything moves together. This time, sweeping those right toes behind you. Chaturanga Ekapada here. Again, putting it all together. And we meet in downward facing dog. Take a breath and let it go. Left leg goes high, point the toes. Control the movement forward, shift. Good, shifting back up. Now we shift to create wild things. So create that fluidity and that connection. Opening up, following the gaze, left leg to the sky. As you step through, land light. Beautiful. Inhale, coming on up. Exhale, push off that back foot and pull the right knee in. And if you wobble or shake, that's okay. Extending those right toes. Coming back through that airplane shape. Good. Coming back to center. Lifting those toes out to the side. Coming back to center. 
take it into dancer's pose. Control the movement. The whole body moves together to create the shape. And then pull the knee back in. As you soften that left knee, step back to your lunge. Reach the arms up as you straighten that left leg. And then open up, warrior two. Pick up that front heel, lunge deeper. Inhale, reverse warrior, reaching up and back. And then rotating the whole body to the top of the space. Left toes point back as you come halfway down. Beautiful work. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, pull back to your down dog. Stretch, breathe. Again, letting everything settle. Letting everything just pause. Good. Stepping your feet towards the top of your space. Take a little halfway lift here. As you exhale, bend the knees. Bring your arms out in front of you. Bring your butt all the way to the mat. And reach those arms forward. Good. Coming back about halfway. Good. From here, start to lift the legs. Pointing those left toes, cross your right elbow towards your left thigh and come back to center. Shins come parallel. Extend left toes. Bring the left knee towards the top of the thigh. Come back to center. Bend. We alternate side to side, twisting through the mid body and extending that opposite leg to get those hip flexors involved. Good. Keep it up. Here's seven, six, five. Get that quad involved. Four. Final three, two, and one. Coming back to center, reach those arms forward, coming into that low boat, extending the heels, extending the arms, and then release everything to the mat. Reach up and over, take a full body stretch. Let that feel good. Beautiful work. Pulling that right knee into your chest. Start to lift those left, that left heel above the mat about two inches. Start to crunch up and bring your forehead in towards your knee. Good, so we're just alternating. Now we're flexing the foot to get a little different motion through that foot. And we're just kind of pulsing that inner knee, thigh to belly, just to kind of release that hip flexor, but keep the core active. Good, final four, three, two, and last one on that right side. Pull both knees in as you release the head. Good, drawing some circles across the ceiling. Just breathe. Clockwise and counterclockwise, amazing work. Good, extend the toes over the hips. Last one, keeping the feet together, keeping your hips relaxed and your low back relaxed. Not necessarily relaxed, but pressing into the mat so that we're not using the back, but we're using our core. I want you to reach for your toes and we're just gonna find little tiny pulses, trying to reach for our feet. Not using our neck, but using that core body, using that rib cage, using those little intercostal muscles, the obliques, and working not to slam down, but controlling that movement up and down. Final six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees, pull the knees into the chest. Beautiful work. From here, just drop those knees to the right as you cactus the arms. Taking your gaze over to the left. Pulling the knees in, coming back to center and switch sides. Again, just letting everything absorb. Good, coming back to the center. Coming into a dead bug's pose or happy baby, just grabbing for the outer arches of the feet, the outer shins. Let the hips relax. Let the knees relax. Let the low back relax. Let everything just soften. Good. Taking that right ankle on top of the left knee, just grab the back of your left thigh. Point your left toes and point your toes to the sky. Find that stretch to the right hip. And then as you're ready, release that right foot to the ground. Pull that left leg towards you, finding a nice deep hamstring stretch here. And then bend that left knee, taking it on top of the right, coming into that figure four. Point your right toes and extend your toes to the sky. 
Just opening that left knee with the left elbow, pulling the legs tighter towards you for a deeper stretch. Letting everything start to soften. Good. Releasing that left foot down to the mat, pulling that right leg towards you for a hamstring stretch. And release, both feet go wide as you would just allow the knees to come together. Bring your hands right to your belly. Close the eyes and just breathe. Once again, letting everything settle, letting everything come back to a neutral balanced position. And you can stay here or find the opposite shape, finding Supta Baddha Konasana with the soles of the feet together and the knees open. Wherever you're most comfortable for just a moment of stillness here. And if you'd like, you can extend the legs, finding a final Shavasana pose here. And just allowing, again, everything to settle for just a moment allowing ourselves to just soften into the mat, taking a final scan of the body, and noticing all the differences. any leftover tension through the face, through the jaw, behind the ears as you start to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. And then as you're ready, take a full body stretch. Reach your arms overhead, point the toes, and pull the knees into your chest, either rocking yourself up to a seat or rolling onto one side and sitting with your legs crossed or on the knees. And here we're just going to bring the hands to heart center, bow your chin to your chest, and we're just sealing in our practice sealing in our time. Give yourself that salute, that honor for showing up. You get to take this energy with you. Let it travel with you the rest of your day, the rest of your week, wherever you are. Good. Bringing those thumbs right between the brow and lifting the gaze, finding gratitude for something, whatever it is. And then from there, we bow with that gratitude to this practice and to all things. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. We'll see you for the next one. Ciao.